Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. I'm Popo of the Game here and today I'm playing some more balloons and adventure on Power Defense. So today, as you can see, we have Hunter Marsling here at level 7. Well, technically not at level 7 yet, but as you can see, we have 77 out of 75 red, because of course that's what it's called. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know why it's called red, it's clearly a tomato, but what can we do? So we're gonna level, we're gonna level her up and we're gonna test out her level 7 ability. Which we'll see in a second. Feast of the Damned ability suck the souls from all balloons on the screen. It sounds pretty meh, but I have no idea. We're gonna try it out, see is it good? Is it bad? Is it decent? I have no idea. We're gonna try it out. Uh, I also have a decently strong dungeon fin that's gonna be in a bit of assistance. Uh, so he'll mostly just be there to see maybe like support aspects of it. I don't know if it's gonna be much support aspects. But hard to know for sure, so we will see. Um, I will go for this since that's the ability up, like that's her special ability trinket, pretty powerful. And then I'll swap on her chest keys because we're fine. Uh, so also, I, I don't know if I mentioned this yet. I don't think I did. We are also going to be getting our legendary wish orb slash bemo. Uh, some people have told me that it's actually going to be holiday bemo this time. I don't know if that's true, but someone said it, so it's possible, I guess. Um, let's just go for 10% attack speed. Some actually, no, there was there was the gauntlets. I can go for 15% attack speed. Why would I waste my way on 10%? Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we still have two days left and, you know, two minutes left of the Holly Jolly Secrets. And I have 460. You need 480 in total, so we're gonna do one, um, impoppable mode. So I'm gonna speed this up quickly, just use some gems. Uh, which is what I did, by the way, to farm all this. So we're gonna be doing Chamber of Frozen Blades, Impoppable, with Hunter Marcelin, test some stuff out, uh, then we're gonna support if need be, and then we're gonna open all the gifts and from the Christmas event and see how well it goes, you know, before the Christmas event disappears forever. Uh, so let's plop in, uh, Hunter Marcelin, here we go. So I've actually been using Hunter Marcelin a fair bit recently with, uh, a combination with, um, with Plasma Goggle Sam, simply because I knew Hunter Marshallin had the treasure chest keys. That's pretty much the only reason I did it. Also, I have a sinking feeling that I lost um, my like magic coin purse somewhere along the line. Some character has it that's not equipped anymore. Because I feel like my starting money is very low, and I think that's probably why. Um, so that's, that's something. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, we're gonna see. I mean, I have... I don't know. I feel like this ability is gonna have some secret perk to it, so it's gonna be like, hey, Steal all the souls from the, all balloons on screen at once, but also now these balloons that have been taking the soul using the ability take like 10 times damage or something crazy like that. I don't know, it just, it seems like something that's gonna have some weird side ability, uh, but I have no real way to prove that, so who knows, maybe I'm completely wrong. I have to wait a bit to find out. Uh, but yeah, so we'll go for like some basic cobra farming as well, get us some money. Uh, but I am going to be interested to see this ability. This is not a one tower only, obviously, and this is not an ultra buff either. Uh, those will come, but they will not be happening today. Might be the next video, might not be. I do want to test out the Commander Cassie glitch we showcased last time in Martian Games, because I feel like it might be pretty powerful, hard to know. I did actually do a bit more testing with that, and I found a way to use uh, the Commander Cassie Plasma Goggles glitch in combination with Plasma Goggle Sam. It's a little finicky. But what I can tell is, if you use, if you do all the glitch properly, and you've used Commander Cassie's level 5 ability, and then you place Sam while the level 5 ability is active, then you can start, like, uh, spamming the Plasma Goggles ability and it won't change anything, you'll be fine. That seems to be how it works to me. I didn't miss any, right? Just wanna double check, I have all my Cobras. Yes, I do. Okay, so let's get started. Let's just get all the soul upgrades first. Feast of the Damned, let's go. Straight thing. Uh, Straight thing. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. Straight up, let's just get the ability. Um, I don't know, I guess we can just test out on anything. I kind of want to wait for something powerful, but that's not going to happen for another, like, 20 rounds. Let's just wait here for a second, see if there's anything that looks half decently strong, and then we'll use the ability. Because I don't want to use it on, like, four green balloons. That seems kind of sad. Well, I just realized we actually have sheer balloons here, so the, like, energy gauntlets were actually half decent as well. Okay, just... I'm gonna use the ability any second now. Okay, and... Come on, just give me an area with actually decent number of balloons. Okay, no, I wanna wait. I wanna do something interesting for this test for the first use of the ability. Cause it might at the very least be a cool animation or something. 
Maybe this ability lets you shield the soul of the bad balloon. That would be really powerful. Hard to know. Come on, give me something decent. Give some ceramics at least so we don't one-shot them all. Uh, there we go. There was some cool effect there for like a second or so. We're gonna have to wait realistically, and I have no idea how long, and we might end up waiting quite a while for this. Uh, let's just do Circular Fight Path. So we have the ability. It has some cool effect thing on her. I don't really know what else. We need to really wait for a more challenging round with a lot of balloons, which unfortunately is a pretty rare thing to see in this game, unless you're in like late game Martian games. Because realistically, there just won't be a difficult round. It's either like a single Serant or a single ZMG, single Moab, single Bad Balloon, stuff like that. So you don't really see that many more difficult rounds. Like the spam rounds are normally more ceramics, which I guess this ability might be good in, but it's hard to know for sure. I don't know, I still have a little bit of faith that there's gonna be some secret ability and it's gonna work on the bad balloon or something crazy like that. But it's, there's a very real possibility that's just like, oh hey, you get to steal all those souls of the balloons on screen at once, it's kinda cool, it's sorta helpful, but it doesn't change the game very much. But that just, that just seems very disappointing to me, so I hope there's something more cool than that. Uh, but again, we're gonna have to wait a long time to find out. <laughs> I mean, I'll use the ability probably on like round 42, but I don't know, maybe the mobs will just die super fast. We're unfortunately too powerful for our own good, but if you actually combine all these things, keep in mind, I didn't even use all that many ability cooldowns, just the one ability cooldown trinket. The ability cooldown, like, it, it's a pretty fast cooldown, uh, considering I'm not using all that many insane abilities. It also seems to be one of the ones that ends as soon as a round ends, potentially. There are no, I guess it just seems like a very short uptime. It's so hard to tell. I need a round with, like, hordes of balloons. I almost wish, like... I'm gonna turn off auto start, see if I can like put Mo Hunter Marshland at the back, maybe that'll make a difference. Cause I have no idea, I think she does have some, like some form of range, but I don't really know what that range is. So let's try this. That works, sort of. Yeah, so she just steals the soul of a lot of them at once. Nothing all that obvious, nothing all that crazy that I can see, at least not right now. So, we're gonna keep on going for now. This should help us see it a little better. Yeah, I mean, like, it's a cool effect. It definitely steals the soul of everything. I feel like, realistically, this is one of the times where I'm just gonna have to wait for round 75 to see, like, hey, crucial thing. Do you work on Bad Balloon? Oh, this is actually a pretty decent time to use the ability. Uh, that's another good thing about it, is it lets you control it, so, uh, in order to get camera protection and lead popping power, she needs to steal the soul of lead and camo balloons. Uh, so, it would be a pretty good use of the ability to do that. But really, realistically, at the end of the day, the only reason this ability would be really that powerful is if it works on bad balloons, and we have another 30-something rounds to wait for that. So hopefully it does, but if it doesn't, that kinda sucks. Um, I mean, I can see it having a few more uses in the Martian games, because sometimes they spam a lot of balloons on you. Or maybe on around, like, 73, where there's, like, three ZM- or, like, two or three ZMGs, and two or three DTs, and BFBs, and mobs, and everything all at once. It could be pretty useful then. I mean, her soul steal ability doesn't happen all that often, like her natural upgrade runs. So that's definitely a benefit for the ability, but I just don't know how how crucial it would be. There's definitely uses, but I'm definitely hoping in the back of my mind that it's gonna have some insane, I don't know, some insane secret hidden feature. But we'll see, we will see. Basically, um, I mean, we'll try it on round 60, maybe we'll see something crazy then, but realistically, again, for like the 17th time, I think we gotta wait for the Babaloon. The reason, part of the reason I did this now is I know this might, there's a decent chance this will be kind of boring if it is just testing out the ability. The ability's not that crazy. Um, but I also obviously am, we're gonna do the Christmas event stuff, so that will have something to look forward to for the end. So if this does turn out pretty disappointing, at least there'll be something cool going on. Uh, but I mean, it's been a while just to see Hunter Marshland's solo balloons, just a crazy test for her, which is kind of cool too. So is the range infinite? It does seem to be infinite. But I don't know. It says, like, seals the souls from all balloons on screen, but it almost feels like it has a limit, which would be very strange. Because it definitely doesn't have a range limit. How to know. It also, this, I don't know if this is just something that I never knew, but I didn't realize that if it, the balloon had its soul stroll and then it was popped, the balloons that came from it, like its children, didn't lose their souls as well. I guess that makes sense, it just it seems a little odd to me. Okay, I feel like we're nearing the position where we might actually get a good round for this ability. 
but we're still doing too much damage for it. The stakes can bounce between like 10 different balloons and then we're just stuck still. Round 60 is coming up though in just two rounds and I feel like I remember round 59 being very short. Could be wrong. I should know this. I just did like four impoppable games, but whatever it happens, I forget. Four or five BFBs, not like it, I don't know. If you didn't know the exact features of the Soul Steel, I believe the balloon moves half as fast and takes double damage from all sources. I believe that's what happens. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what happens with it. And then the character that steals the soul also happens to, I think it gets, they like get special abilities against them. I think it's like a small damage boost or something like that. Yeah, so I mean, nothing too obvious with this UMG. Like, it is helpful. And then we can use it as, why didn't that work? That didn't even work? Huh. There might be something I have to test for the bad balloon again, or another ZMG. Uh, that didn't really work. Like, we used it on the ZMG, fine, pop the ZMG. Then we used the ability again on the BFB, but nothing happened. That makes it even worse! Come on! I'm trying to find reasons that the ability is good, not that the re reasons that the ability is bad. <sighs> DTs also, that's a good example as well. DTs would also be quite a good use for it. We'll see in a couple rounds. Because DTs are so fast, especially if there's a speed balloon modifier, um, or in the Martian games where the speed actually goes up as the rounds go by, having that quick instantaneous slowdown for them could be a big deal. This is actually a pretty good round for this. Steal all the souls, and then the mobs just die. <laughs> Too bad, because that would have been a good test to check the like double ability thing if there is a glitch with that. We'll see. My mind is definitely on glitches in this game recently with all the plasma goggles shenanigans we've been through. Like, we've been doing a lot of plasma goggle shenanigans, and it's been a lot of fun, and it's been crazy, so I'm expecting everything to have some super absurd power now, and I don't think it will. Which is too bad. Fortified DMG. That's kind of dangerous. Definitely, definitely kind of dangerous. Our ability is ready. So let's see. Once we pop this fortified DMG, I'm gonna use the ability again. Is something gonna break? If you can see the speed difference here, by the way, there's a massive speed difference. Not stole all the souls, so I guess it's just a random quirk. Maybe I used the ability, but they had already been popped, or I used the ability before they were popped, and I just didn't realize it, or it was delayed, or who knows. Uh, but it seems pretty useful. I mean, honestly, Hunter Moslin, the ability, like, with, with or without the ability, Hunter Moslin is doing a lot better than I think she did on her first solo. I can't really remember, honestly. Did she make it to round 75? Like, this is also a fortified map. I don't know, I'm not quite sure. Again, DT. I was gonna say again, DT is good use, but didn't even get a chance to use the ability that time. We'll use it again. Like, there are definitely a lot of benefits. It's a fast cooldown with all these, especially with other ability, like, cooldown reduction stuff, like Obra and her, like, Marston specialty trinket with Hambo, I think it's called, the epic one. Pretty useful for that. Okay, I kinda wanna wait for all of them on screen. Yeah, quite useful against DTs. You can see there for DTs, it's a massive shutdown. That ability didn't do anything. That ability didn't do anything. I'm suspicious of this, because it's not working all that well, and I don't know exactly what the reasoning is for it. I Part of me feels that the Soul Steel has like a set speed. Here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait for this first UMG to pop, and then I'm gonna use the ability immediately. No, it's definitely still up in speed. I think it halves their speed. I wasn't quite sure there. It's, like, it's insane. Because realistically, because if it halves the speed plus makes you do double damage, like I think it does, um, I have no real way of testing that, uh, then it kind of sounds like it would be, it would make you do four times damage soul steal, which is quite useful. Uh, that didn't do anything either. What's the deal with the soul steal ability just not working? I don't like that. That's annoying. That's a nuisance. It's irritating. Uh, but I guess that's just happening sometimes. Who knows, maybe it's the map. I'm sure it doesn't help that I place Hunter Marslin on the other side of the map, and occasionally she goes completely off screen, at least. Well, no, she doesn't go off screen, just off screen if I use this. Come on, speed up this process, speed up this process. 74, round 74 could also be a decent use for this ability since there's so many balloons. But I guess even though there's so many balloons, as you can see, they don't really make it very far. And the ability didn't even take their soul. That could have been pretty helpful there, and we didn't even- it didn't even work. That's weird. It seems almost like there's like an 80 to 90% chance that it works, and then there's like a 10 to 20% chance that just nothing happens. Okay, here's what I'm hoping for. Walk on bad balloon, walk on bad balloon, walk on bad balloon, nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. 
I'm placing Dungeon Finn in the background to protect my, prote I don't know, to protect something. Dungeon Finn is here. Come on, Hunter Mars, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Work on the bad balloon for no good reason, please. Affect the bad balloon. It doesn't affect the bad balloon. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Still, overall, I mean, it's not a very major ability. It doesn't have any major effects on the game. Nothing's really getting changed all that much. I probably shouldn't be spamming this ability still. I think we might actually still die here, so... Uh, we have no cooldown skills. I can't even do the glitch because I unequipped everything. Just normal Hunter Mars- not normal Hunter Mars, the normal Commander Cassie, help! Please! Abilities! Missiles! We lost our present. Oh no, we're about to lose our present, though. Something! Do something! Okay, so that's Soul Steel again from when Bad Balloons pop. Not bad. It's not that helpful. Like, this was a very close round. And it also seems to be a little finicky and sometimes not work. So, overall, rating out of 10 for that ability, 6. 6 out of 10. It kind of makes me think of Captain Cassie's ability, except Cass Captain Cassie's ability, the level 7 one, the, like, pirate hook in, that works on bad balloons, which instantly makes it useful, because otherwise it's really bad. But I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it's not horrible, and it's definitely a bonus, and it would help, but it's not enough on its own to really make that much of a difference. But anyway, it's time to do the slow process of inserting every single tape. Pineapple Bomb, a perfect start, with uh, probably one of the worst items in this. So yeah, I don't know. Some people have said it's Holiday Demo. If that's true, that's really awesome. Hey, a Manticore, that's awesome. Manticore, one of my favorite allies, pretty darn good. Uh, but yeah, so there's a chance that's the case. If that is, sounds cool. More of you, you could be interesting, super fans. Interesting. I kind of want to see if I can try to get multiple sun gods next send in the clones. I haven't tried that yet. I've had the idea for a little while, but I never did it. Maybe next, by the next time we have a send in the clones, we'll end up with a level 10 super monkey. Uh, if we do actually, if we don't get, if it is a legendary wish hole and we don't get anything all that great, but I get offered 40 super monkey idols, I'd probably take them because I really do want my level 10 super monkey, my first level 10 character. It's taken so long, so, so long to get to that point. Uh, but we'll see. I wouldn't say no to Holiday Demo either. That would be pretty darn cool. Considering otherwise, I have to spend nearly 75,000 uh, Martian gems to buy it. Probably at least 70,000. Also, hey, I'm getting some of the gems I spent back. I think in total I spent like 150 gems on finishing up this event. I mean, hey, a Night Sword. That's a pretty good epic. That's a pretty darn good epic. Can you imagine? I've said this a few times in my guides, but can you imagine if this was... If you did like two normal game modes, this was your first time playing the game, and you just pulled a knight sword, man, you would have a much different experience with the game than most players. But I guess that's kind of what these events offer. They definitely offer a way for you to just cheese progression a little bit. Or even just something like this, like a decent weapon. It gives some slight damage buffs, give it to PB. It's it helps a lot. I didn't I haven't done guides in a while because I have I've done so many on this these events. Every time the event comes out, I just talk about it. Or I just talk about it and them. Um, so I haven't really done guides for them in a while. I've just had a lot of older ones. Um, but one thing I always did mention was that even the early game, it's, well, especially early game, it's a massive difference. In late game, it's your way of getting legendary items unless you're spending money. And even if you are spending money, a lot of legendary items, uh, not a lot, some legendary items I think are exclusive or worst case scenario, it's character items and it's super good. No matter what, you should be doing the event. Hopefully you're better off than me, and uh, you're not doing this with two days left to finish it off. Uh, because I was very slow with this event and had to resort to spending gems, which I know some people do. They finish it in like one day, because they just have a thousand gems stockpiled. So there we go, we actually came out net positive in gems from this thing. That's kind of cool. I do have over 300 gems on me, it's not a big deal. It speeds up the process for me, I didn't need to use them, I could have actually been just waited. But it's much easier to use them. Anyways, we have two items left. Uh, I have no idea what they're gonna be. We have another sword that's very pointless because we already got a epic, so the root sword not gonna be that important. Final one. Are we gonna get a legendary wish sword? I feel like it will be, but I have hope. No, it's a legendary wish sword. I'm like, I have hope that maybe it's maybe it's all Ebimo. Nah, it's legendary wish sword. What a shocker. Still though, pretty nice to have. Quite a nice gift. What's it gonna be? Are we gonna get lucky? We have an epic item. That's a bad start. 
20 cosmic essence, not bad. Hey, I got a night sword. Monkey farmer, normally quite, quite good. In this circumstances, really not so much. So, uh, I'm gonna watch an ad to reroll this, because this kind of sucks. Cosmic essence, not bad. But realistically, I'd rather take twice as much, even if I can't choose what character it goes to. Okay, so we are back, and, uh, this really sucked, honestly. So we have Shoko, who's a pretty bad epic. I obviously don't want the epic. I do have a 40 option here. But it's fan fiction, which is for Ice King, which really sucks for a couple reasons. First of all, Ice King's not that great, and I don't use him very much. But also, he's not one of the characters that there's two characters that use the same item, which is what I'd like to spend a 40 on. So I'm probably gonna go for 20 Cosmic Essence, which means I can immediately go for both Tuxedo Jake level 7, as well as uh, Dungeon Finn level 7. So with this collection, we will have all three premium characters at level 7. That's not happening today, but that will probably happen tomorrow. Congratulations, you have won all the prizes from this event. Challenge maps will no longer award decoding tapes, but will still contain extra gifts. Keep playing for more rewards. I think you get like bonus shards now, but I'm not even positive. It's not worth it to continue after the event's done. Uh, but yeah, so we have access to all three premium level 7s. We have another Ascend in the Clone, not Ascend in the Clone, another Martian Games. It's not that interesting though. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of cool. Lots of interesting things there. I'm excited, the premium characters at level 7 will finally come. Uh, and also, I do actually want to check on Super Monkey. How close are you? Are you halfway? Probably not. 72, kind of close to halfway, but not quite halfway. One of these days, Super Monkey, you will be at 200, you will be level 10. But you know, I'm about to spend pretty much all of my Cosmic Essence on two other characters. So, one of these days I'll walk towards you. He'll probably be my next target after I get every character to level 7, which I'm about to do. Though actually, isn't Max still level 6? Max is still level 6. I've used his level 7 ability, but he's gonna be my final character that's still level 6. Which is kind of sad, and the sadder thing is, I don't care, so I'm probably not, still not gonna give him Cosmic Essence. Uh, but whatever. Uh, anyways though, thank you all for watching, consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed, and subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. It's really nice, and I really do appreciate it. We are really close to 2400 subscribers, so it would be awesome if you could subscribe and take us to 2400, I guess. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!